just trying these close in casts to start off with. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that didn't take too long. <laughs> Where's that cast to? Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're down at the trout pond. You can see it here. The water's really high up. It's actually well over where the bank normally is there. Uh, and we're going to be trying a fly made from a rubber band. So it looks kind of like a maggot or maybe some sort of grub. So there it is there. It looks okay. My fly tying's pretty shabby to be honest. But um, I think it looks good enough to get fish on. So we're walking to the spot just now. We've got it under an indicator. And we're going to see if we can get a fish on a fly made of a rubber band. But first, here's how I tied it. So to tie this fly, I started with my hook and a bit of lead wire. I wrapped that around just where the bend is of the hook basically to give the, the fly some body when I'm tying it. I wrapped my thread around that to lock it in place and I got my elastic bands and cut it into one long strip. So basically with this, I, uh, I just tied it in at the bottom of the hook. Um, I then got some copper wire, uh, which I would use for ribbing. And I tied it in about the same spot. Once it was tied in, I could get the rubber band and I start wrapping it up, overlapping on the way up towards the eye of the hook. This basically gives it that kind of maggot, grub-like appearance. Once it got to the top, I tied it in and then uh, got my, my snips and snipped off the, the excess rubber. I then got the copper wire and worked it up to the top eye in the similar kind of fashion, following the same overlaps of the rubber. Uh, and then I tied it in at the eye as well and then snapped off the extra. To finish off, I got my varnish and just varnished around the thread at the eye of the hook and sealed it all in. So we're down at the water just now, it's flat cam, uh, and I've seen one or two on the surface. So I'm fishing the indicator and this far under the rod is the fly, so I don't know, a couple feet. Um, I'll play about with it, I'm not sure where they're going to be. They're, some of them are seem fairly kind of close in, probably because the bank's flooded, so uh, we're going to start there. Um, and I'll try and get the camera on the actual indicator so see, see if you can see a bite or not. So uh, let's get them cast out. <sighs> right, so I've only got one of these flies. So hopefully uh, I don't lose it straight away. There's a fish right there. I don't think I'm going to have to go too far. Maybe just to... How about there? That should be okay. Just trying these close in casts to start off with. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that didn't take too long. <laughs> Where's that cast to? Oh, come on. There it is. Come on. There we go. Nice one. Not a massive one, but that's the fly out in the net, so that's good. <sighs> well, there we go, that works straight away. I mean, it does look okay, it's got a bit of a texture to it as well. Oh my god, <laughs> suddenly absolutely pouring. Well, that came on quick. Oh, my jacket on. Well, that's the rain stopped finally. It just came on absolutely pelting it down out of nowhere and, and it's gone. So I'm going to move up um, to the kind of top, which is normally really shallow, but there's a bit of, you know, it's uh, higher than normal. So hopefully um, there might be a fish or two up there, I'm thinking. So we're going to take the, the, um, the rod up there and, and have a cast. Oh, there we go. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's wrapped me around some weeds there. Come on. Oh, 
good fight in this one. This one's fighting a lot nicer than that last one. I wonder if it's maybe been in a bit longer or something. Or That last one didn't look super healthy anyway. There we go. I can't actually see the hook there. I think it must have come out in the net. Let's see if he goes. Yep, there we go. Must have come out. Where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. It's fallen through the net. Now I'm liking this fly. I mean, no marks on it at all. And it feels, you know, kind of rubbery as you'd expect. So I imagine they wouldn't notice it was a hook straight away like some flies. One of the best things about fishing is seeing some of the wildlife and scenery when you're out, you know, like that otter I just saw with a fish in its mouth. Alright, let's see if I can... There we go, that should be okay. It's interesting, even here there's a flow. I think this, the stream has burst its banks and it's coming right through all this grass and even making some flow right in here, which I don't think I've ever seen before. We have had about as much rain as you can get in a day in Scotland yesterday, so... <laughs> I took the indicator. Come on. Eat the maggot thing. I'm always amazed by how often they take the indicator. It's pretty frequent. I just saw one move right in at this tree, so... I'll see if I can... Oh, crap. Uh, well, <laughs> there, there goes my fly. Well, I just lost my only fly up that tree, and it's normally dry till about here, so maybe I'll get it back at some point. But uh, yeah, I guess that puts an end to the video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, it clearly works really well. I didn't have many casts and had two, and um, I'm not seeing many moving at all out there. As you can see behind me, normally there's quite a few uh, on the surface, so uh, yeah, um, it works well. Um, Thanks for watching and catch you later.